Hi and welcome to my Smart Home channel. In today's episode, I will show you how to change color, icon, grid, and add a custom field for the Lovelace custom button card. For my examples, I will use a temperature sensor to change icon and color based on state, as well as change the grid template. And thereafter, a light to change the icon based on state, and also add a custom field to the button, in this case, a temperature sensor. In the description, you can find a link to the custom button card and where to find icons. Without further ado, let's get started. For the temperature sensor, I want to change color and icon based on temperature and also change the grid to add the name first, then the icon and lastly state. Compared to the standard layout with icon, name and then state, see the black temperature card to the right. So to start with, set show state to true, otherwise the state won't be displayed. For styles, we need to add a new grid template by defining a matrix based on columns and rows on how to define the grid template. There are four standard fields, name, image, state and label. Here, the letters between two quotation marks creates columns and the number of quotation mark pairs creates the number of rows. For example, between every quotation mark, there are one letter, meaning there is one column, and then there are three quotation mark pairs, meaning there are three rows, which creates the following template matrix, with the name first, then the image, and lastly the state. <clears throat> to change the color of the icon, there are several if statements, checking if the temperature is below a certain degree, and returns a color based on the temperature. If no condition is met, it will turn dark red in this case. Lastly, to change the icon, it is the same principle as for changing the color of the icon. There are several if statements checking if the temperature is below a certain degree and returns an icon based on the temperature. And if no if statement is true, it returns the default icon. For the light entity, I will change icon based on state and add a custom field, the temperature of the room, to the layout template. So to start with, set size to 100% just to ensure the size of the icon remains at 100%. And then for the icon, there is an if statement to check if the state is off and in that case return an icon if it is and another icon if it is not. Same principle here as with the temperature example. You can use several if statements if you want to have different icon for different state. If you don't want to show the state, set show state to false. For styling the card, you can use round the borders by using border radius, which gives a nice touch to the card. For grids, this one is a bit more complex compared to the previous example. So let's start with the name of the different fields. We have temp, which is the custom field for temperature that we will add, and then we have name, image, state, and label, as in the previous example. For the layout, there are five fields within each quotation mark pair, and four pairs in total, meaning it will be five columns with four rows. And the layout of the template is according to the picture. I use label and state field as filters to get the layout that I want here. And then the image will take up 3x3 three three matrix in the middle, and then the name takes up the bottom row. And in the top right corner, the custom field for temperature will be placed. Grid template columns and grid template rows, which are below the grid template areas, defines the size of each grid. And to make it simple, I define each field as one frame. Then it is possible to style the text and the icon for the custom field. <clears throat> so to use align self start, we will align the field in the top of the grid box. And justify self end to align the field to the right of the grid box. And then we can use padding right or padding left to move the custom field manually, either to the right or to the left. And now for the custom field, we start with giving it a short name. Uh, in this case, I use temp, since it is a temperature sensor. And then in the first section, the icon is defined. First, we select which icon to use, and then the style of it, width, height, and color. In the second section, the style of the entity and the entity is selected. So first, the color are defined, and then the font size. Then we can use math round to round up the temperature to a whole number. 
and then the sensor entity is defined, and lastly the unit is added. Now I will show you a few use cases for the custom button card. As I showed you, you can use it for a temperature sensor, but also for your home alarm, vacuum cleaner, mailbox, washing machine, dryer or dishwasher. If you want to make your mailbox, washing machine, dryer or dishwasher smart, I have linked my videos in the description and they are also shown in the end of the video. I also use the custom button card to control all the lights in my house. So when pressing the button, all lights are turned on in each individual room. And if I do a long press, I get a more info pop-up, which I've configured so I can control all lights individually in that room using the browser mode integration. Let me know in the comment section if you want me to do a video on how to use the browser mode integration. Thanks for watching. You can find the links to my videos on how to make a smart mailbox or a smart dishwasher, washing machine or dryer in the top corners. And if you liked the video, please hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button with notification on. Have a great day.